Boys and girls, let's call our friend Cubby Bear. Are you ready? One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, Cubby. Cubby, is there something wrong? Oh, uh, oh, um, I was just checking to make sure everything was okay, Miss Karen. Um, have you heard a loud, scary noise? No, I haven't heard any loud or scary noises here. Okay, um, I feel better now. Yesterday, Timothy and I heard a scary noise and I don't like scary noises. Can you tell us what happened, Cubby? Well, Timothy wanted to go camping, see, with his family, but it was raining outside. So Timothy's mom said he could make a tent in his room, and Timothy asked us to come along, too. And I've never been camping before, Miss Karen, but it sounded like fun. Camping is a lot of fun. <laughs> I packed two shiny red apples for a snack and hurried into Timothy's room. Timothy even had a flashlight for us. Cool. And did you make a tent? Yes, ma'am. We made a tent with a sheet and two chairs. As soon as it was dark, we climbed into the tent and I ate my apples while Timothy made funny shadows on the wall with his flashlight. Oh, how fun! <laughs> we were having so much fun, Miss Karen, but then we heard a strange noise. It sounded like something was scratching on the door. Did you know what it was? No, oh, but I was really, really scared. I thought it was a tractor at the door. Tractors has big wheels, you know, and that <laughs> scares me. Hmm, well, I don't think a tractor would scratch at the door, and I'm sure that Timothy's dad wouldn't drive the tractor in the house. Yes, I guess you're right, Miss Karen, but I was still scared. Then Timothy decided to go to the door to see what it was. Wow, Timothy is a brave boy. So what was it? Well, I'm not supposed to tell you this week, but the copies need to read the story in their handbook at home. But I will say, it wasn't very scary at all. Whew, that's good. But I don't like scary noises still, Miss Karen. Are you sure you haven't heard any scary noises here tonight? No, I haven't heard any scary noises. Well, that's good to know. I'll go and tell Timothy everything is okay. Okay, Cubby. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye, Miss Karen. Bye. So Cubby Bear and Timothy were having a really good time when they were camping out in their tent until they heard a noise that scared them. Cubby's things get scary sometimes, don't they? Even grown-ups get scared sometimes. But this is what I want us to remember, that Jesus is our Good Shepherd. Do you see where it says that? Jesus is our Good Shepherd. So we don't have to be afraid. When we trust in Jesus as our Savior, we become just like His little sheep. So just like a shepherd loves his sheep and takes care of them, Jesus loves us and he takes care of us. In your Bible verse this week, do you remember? It came from the book of Psalm in the 23rd chapter and it was all about a shepherd. Well, I've got a picture of a shepherd here. Okay, look at this. And it reminds me of the Bible verse, because in that Bible verse, it was talking about having to walk through a valley and walking in darkness. And, and sheep could get hurt, and they need their shepherd to take care of them. I mean, look at this one. This little guy is getting awfully close to the edge of the cliff, and the shepherd uses his staff. Like, I've got one. 
see this hat got a hook on the end of it. So if somebody was getting too close to the edge, I could pull them back, couldn't I? Of course I could. Yeah. So the sheep didn't have to be afraid because their shepherd was with them. Now, the shepherd always watches over the sheep to keep them safe. So let's see. Let's see if we have anything. Oh, do you see anything else in this picture that could be dangerous for our sheep? Oh, what do you see up there? That's a wolf. That can be very dangerous also. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that wolf looks so scary for sheep, doesn't he? But that shepherd, he's got his, his staff, right? And he can use it to beat on that wolf or he could throw it at his wolf. He would do whatever it takes to keep his sheep safe. Do you know that he loves his sheep so much and he would fight so hard for them that he could even die taking care of his sheep. And then at the end of the day, the shepherd would use his rod. Oh, he's got a little stick now to help him count the sheep to make sure that all of the sheep get back into the pen. Can you help me count our sheep? I see one, two, three, and the back end of number four right there. So our verse this week tells us about a good shepherd. And this was your Bible verse for this week. In Psalm 23, verse 4, and it said, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and here was the part that was your verse, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Okay, because we know that that rod and that staff, that shepherd is going to keep those sheep safe. Okay, so the verse reminds us that we don't need to fear, which means we don't need to be afraid because Jesus is always with us. Now, sometimes scary things happen. Like if you're walking down the road and all of a sudden you see a dog running at you barking, that's a scary thing. If there's a bee buzzing around your head, that can be kind of scary, can't it? Have you ever been in a store with mom and dad and Maybe you got separated a little bit and you looked up and they weren't there and all of a sudden that can be a little scary, right? But when these things happen, I want you to remember that Jesus is always with you. So you could remember your memory verse and, says, and say, I will fear no evil for you are always with me. And you can say, Jesus is always with me, okay? So let's pray and let's thank God for sending us Jesus who is always with us. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this Bible verse that helps us to remember that we don't need to be afraid because you are always with us. So even when those scary things in life happen, Lord, you are always with us. And we thank you for that. Amen. All right, good job, Cubbies. I will be with you again next week.